raining a little bit. Hi there, Mama Goose. Watching out for your babies. Well, don't worry, I won't hurt you. And I won't bother your babies either. So I don't know if I'm going to be any, do any good out here today. It's uh, kind of rainy. But uh, I'm going to give it a try. I'm starting out with the uh, KVD Red Eye Shad. I'm striking um, half ounce. It's not the two tap. Um, the Abu Garcia Max X, seven foot medium heavy, and just see what happens. I've also got a uh, chatterbait rigged up over there too. So we'll see. Very few hang-ups here in this pond, so I mean they are in here. Oh, first one right there. First one right there. First cast. That's what I like about coming to this place. He ain't very big, of course, but uh, he went for it. That was first cast. And he's jumping around. Okay, baby, you are so pretty. You are so pretty. She's watching me all the way around. Yeah, I don't blame her. I've watched me too, I think.
sure what is that a big one, but it is a fish. About that little, little bitty thump. Like I hooked a piece of grass or something. Itty bitty. Itty bitty. You itty bitty. Itty bitty. So, Dr. Ditch Pickle, I don't need ultralights to catch micro bass. I can catch them on my broomstick. <laughs> if you all uh, haven't ever seen a channel, Dr. Ditch Pickle, um, I'm not for sure exactly where, uh, what state he's in, but he does a lot of uh, ultralight fishing really enjoyable channel for me to watch every once in a while we uh, communicate back and forth during our, uh, through our comments I learned about him from another channel that uh, uh, subscribed to me and I subscribed to them uh, Chesapeake Chris good guy construction workers going on out there and I got one right there and it's not very big but it's number three another micro micro bass I always like micro bass you can catch a micro bass, you can catch a big bass, it just... If there's any big bass around, that is. I might be in the wrong spot for a big bass, but I'm just out fun fishing, trying to, you know, get a little footage for you all to enjoy. My buddy Adam, he caught uh, a five foot, a five, five, foot, five pound seven ouncer the other day at, uh, the place we were fishing but I figured it would be so muddy after the rain that we've had and plus with the uh, with the weather I wanted to be someplace that if I needed to scoop for cover I could scoop for cover and there is a uh, a restaurant right behind me here that I can run into if I needed to really get protection from a storm or something like that. I don't think that's gonna, I don't think there's gonna be a storm, but there might be some pretty heavy rain here pretty soon. kind of reeling this thing kind of slow.
I'm getting up here by my park bench that I was talking about. Get up here where the wind is blowing up against the bank and see what I can come up with. Get a stick or a fish. I think it's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Yeah, a little bit bigger than the other one, but I don't think he'll go over a pound. Size fish, decent one. We'll put them on the to see. I get nosy sometimes. <laughs> Thirteen ounces. I didn't think he'd go over. Non-scorable. There you are, buddy. Dinker, little dinker boot, micro bass to the rescue. I want to say number five.
same one that I caught. You know, not the same one, but yeah, there's a little bit of moss there that I had. Alright, so here's number six, maybe. from the restaurant is smelling good back there my goodness they put on a good they got a good menu going on be careful about that uh, I think I got one already there is that where I'm hung up but no I got one all right I'll take them could be just a little bit a little bit bigger than the others maybe like that 13 ounce or maybe that I hooked just a minute ago I think he's gonna go about a pound. Oh, look how he went for that. He went for it head first. I need to get my flyers out. Sorry. Well, the way he went. Poor fellow was bleeding pretty good, though. Hopefully, I won't see him floating. That's one of the, the bad things about uh, the trouble hooks. The way he took that, I mean, he, he took it right down. Yeah, down in his gills.
garbage. There's no uh, no trash can right around anywhere close. Big fish that time. I'll turn the camera off while I get this thing undone. I thought I had a really big one there, but you saw just a piece of some kind of fabric right there, maybe weed check or something that got blown in the water these guys are always doing some type of uh, landscaping so that may have been what it was piece of landscape material had to take the scissors and cut it out of the wind. Hi Mama Goose. Figured I'd come back down here. Got some clearing. Got some clouds.
So with the uh, tornadic weather that we were having last night, and the way the sky is looking today, I doubt that I'm going to make it back to my vehicle before I get hammered in the rain. I can already see it hitting my face. This is why I uh, this is why I quit fishing. Right now we're under a tornado warning here in the county that I live in, and uh, I take the opportunity to bring the dog out here. Just got had a little hail go through. A little bit of rain right now, but I don't know. It may have. May have passed on by us, but my radar app was showing it. There's a dog taking care of her business out there. And that don't look too pretty down that way. Burden is where they said the tornado was. We have a tornado down in St. Louis, about 80 miles south of here. With Illinois weather, it'll happen that way sometimes. Well, I'm not trying to turn it into a uh, storm chasing channel, so I'm going to go back in the house and everybody stay safe. <laughs>